Could you talk about how you approach a, a more straight up gig, like the one you play with Steely Dan, and maybe demonstrate some of the, the grooves you have to play with them? Well, the, the two records that I worked with them on um, was Two Against Nature, which I played on that cut, and then the title cut, and uh, Everything Must Go. I played on that entire record. And um, I could just demonstrate some of those grooves that I played that I get asked about a lot in clinics. One of them is uh, on Everything Must Go, first cut, I believe, called The Last Mall. It's a blues shuffle, and I didn't necessarily want to try doing something um, like the Bernard Purdy shuffle or something that, um, because it was a little too fast for that, you know, f to have that kind of a vibe for it. And I think I just wanted to find something a little different that would work. I remember Walter suggesting the four on the floor because he was playing bass on that record. And so um, that ended up working out great. Um, and so I just put the shuffle in the hi-hat and, and tried something. And when I, when I found this, they, they, Donald and Walter seemed to really like where it was going. So this is how it kind of ended up. I just kind of put the shuffle pattern by playing more or less a triplet feel on the hi-hat. I just put the, the accents in there to kind of give it that with the bass drum. Um, and it worked great for the tune, for that tempo. And at the very end, when I played the other pattern, when I went to the snare drum, I, I played that kind of a groove.